welcome back to my youtube channel guys thank you once more for the hundred subscribers please make sure you subscribe to my channel so we can hit that one key and smash that like button make sure you drop your comments and share my videos thank you so let's roll the intro <laughs> I'll be going um, over the basics of color grading, starting from the interface, explaining to you how some of the tools work. We are learning the basics of color grading in DaVinci Resolve, and then I list. I was able to list um, up to ten things that we can talk about. These are tools that can help you color grade very well. And uh, number one is the primaries and primary wheels, log wheels, HDR color wheel, RGB mixer motion effect which is number five curves and customs color wrapper qualifier hsl windows and the last is the tracker window now this is the part one of this course that i'm trying to um putting out right now so the first is the primaries that we are going to talk about now i'll be able to explain what it is it's use and how you can use it to achieve uh, your image balancing and corrections when it comes to color grading. So what is the primary wheel? Here I have the definition on screen. The primary wheel in DaVinci Resolve refers to the color wheel. This is, they are trying to tell you that this particular color wheel is where you can be able to manipulate some of your pictures. So let's carry on. Um, the primary wheel in DaVinci Resolve refers to the color wheel to use for color correction and grading. This tool helps adjust the colors and brightness of a video. This is like the simplest um, definition I can give you. Basically what the primary wheel um, does is that it helps you correct your image. You can use it to correct the brightness of your image you can use it to correct the darker sides of your image your contrast and even your white balancing to make sure that your image is, is actually on a good good profile before you start working and i will show you how the primary wheel looks like before we even go um, on using them so here on screen we have our primary wheel yes so from the left side here we have you can see from the left side we have lifts we have um, gamma we have gain and we have offsets uh, let me explain this to you so you'll be able to understand what each of them is capable of doing okay so on screen here i have um, I have listed them out and what you can use them to do. So let's start from lifts. The lifts, the lifts on its own, let me read this out. This adjusts the darkest parts of your image in bracket shadows. Now, when you are working on your image, your image is, your image has both the bright sides and the dark sides. And then what every other thing is in between. Do you understand it's just like you have black and white and then there's colors in between so you have to know how to work with your dark sides and then your bright side too to balance your image so it's going to look real to the human eyes so now that's what the lift lift helps you to do to balance the darker sides of the image your blacks your shadows and every other thing now then the gamma the gamma helps us to adjust the mid-tones here you see this adjusts the mid-tones or the middle brightness level now basically it's just like you having your picture the dark side and the bright side and then the middle part that is where the gamma comes in you're able to adjust the brightness of your image in the middle part of your video or your image and then again this adjusts the brightness the brightest part of our image most especially the highlights so now it's like we are sandwiching gamma in between do you understand and the last one is the offsets. 
this adjusts the overall brightness and color balance of the entire image so the brightness the offset actually covers these three things already it can do everything this one this um three on top can do but then the good thing why we have them all in separate is for you to be able to control your image if you are using the offset and you're working with it any adjustment you make affects the whole image but if you're working with your lift any adjustment you make affects the darker side and then your gain any adjustment you make adjust the brighter part so basically that's why we have them in separate so you can be able to use them and work so i'll go to davinci and show you how it works so you can be able to practice on your own and then at the end of um the course the end of the this whole um, part one of understanding the basis of color grading we are going to apply everything that we've learned to grade a complete look so let's go over to davinci now so we are in davinci right now and this place right here where i am sp um, spinning my mouse is our primary wheel you can see it's your primary color wheels this is where the first magic happens and here we have our lifts here we have our gamma here we have our gain and here we have our offset and from what we've read you can you it says that the lift helps to correct the darker sides of our image the gamma helps to correct the mid-tones of our image and our gain helps to correct the highlights the highlights of of our, our image which are the brightest parts and then again does the overall work like everything these three can do here we have our temperature tints contrast uh, pivots mid tones color boosts shadows highlights saturation hues and luma mix so first let's go over lifts now i want you to notice our hair this particular door side that is black any other thing that is black here from our waveform if we should take our lifts down this part is going to come down the dark the, the the downside here is where we used to understand our darkest parts of the image and then this top side is where we get to know the range at which our bright sides are so let's take it down can you see everything that is black is becoming dark so you take it down you are crushing the image but just like from my previous um, tutorial, I said make sure that you are not hitting zero. This one. Make sure you are not hitting zero. Something something like this is okay. Because you don't want to crush the black. No matter what you are doing, your color grading is supposed to look real to the eyes. Your color correction is supposed to be real before you start your work. Now, if we click on the reset here, it takes us back. Our gamma deals with the mid-tones so you can see even as we are taking it down the blacks are still looking normal our whites even if we're taking it up the bright sides are still looking normal now when we go to our gain when we boost our gain up you can notice how our highlights are coming up the past 800 which is where your image is even supposed to sit most times most times you leave it at 700 so this is what the gain um, can do boosting the highlights you can see it's from her skin and then the offset covers the overall image we we'll boost the offset up you can see that it's it's actually boosting everything can you see both the dark sides the bright side everything is pushing it up so how do you use these tools now to achieve a good color correction so we start from the gain from the um, lift sorry you take your lift down a little make sure it's looking real to your eyes are your bright sides okay well if they are okay you can leave it if they are not okay for you you can boost it up a little and even to, um, you boost it up a little with the gain uh, if it's too much you can step it down a little if you want the image to look bright and normal soft we can use our offset and just boost up the image a little and we have this so most times you work with this particular three um, tools before even thinking of touching this one do you understand and when you want to do your color um your white balancing you can also use the colors inside here to work on your color balancing your white balancing you can use this 
um, colors inside here and apart from the color wheel we have the color the primary color bars which is next to the color wheel so basically it is the same thing it's just that this gives you more control to work on each particular color like working on only red in the lifts working on only green in the lift working on only um blue in the lifts unlike the the, the primary wheels you can see that this side is our blue but as you are pushing it you might mistakenly go down and it's, it won't give you the proper blue you want to get so when you're working with like the three primary colors you can use this part this is for the brightest side can you see so everything you are doing now you are dealing with just the uh, darkest side sorry the dark sides of the image okay this is the the um, bar that deals with the control of light why this one deals with the controls of colors same thing goes for the gamma same thing goes for the gain and same thing goes for the offset so when you are working with your your primary wheel it is very easy for you to balance an image before you start your creative color grading process so let's do a quick balance here and see how it looks so we want to take our um dark side darkest side to the close to the bottom close to zero but not on zero so we just take it down a little from the wheel here so i think it's okay what else do we want to do we want to boost our image up a little let's use our, our gain we are already boosting the highlights too much which is this one so we can say okay let's take our gamma up a little and bring down our gain if we want to touch the offset, see what happens. If we take it down, you can see it's touching everything completely, taking everything down. And we can boost our lift a, li a little for everything to look natural. Now let's go over our image. Can you see? This is our after. Let's go back to the before. This is the before. This is the after. Then from the primary wheels here, you can decide to say, okay, um, let me add contrast a little is this okay you say yes um come down here i want to add saturation to bring out the color in this image and you are like okay yeah it's looking fine do you want to temper with the color you can temper with the hue a little can you see can you see so this is our before this is the before before using the primary wheel and this is the after so you can use the primary wheel to start your adjustment before you even go to the advanced parts of your grading. So when, once we cover up all the topics in the course, then we are going to grade this particular um, video here to come up with a good look and a nice color. Yeah, so thank you.